hi guys and welcome back to my channel yes today we are filming in a different location i'm actually currently on holiday with my family in morocco it's such a gorgeous gorgeous place so guys today we are going to talk about motivation and i'm going to share with you my tips for staying motivated to be honest i i'm often on the bandwagon of uh, motivation so i wanted to share with you some of the things that i do to help me you know sustain that period of motivation and let's be honest we're not always going to be in a positive mood all the time and you know at the peak of our motivation however there's certain things that we can do to help us sustain that and also to 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 be aware of when we're off and then what to do to kind of get back on the motivation train so if you do like that type of thing i would love 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 for you to stick around and keep watching now if you're new to my channel please i would love for you to subscribe i'm a mom of three and i make videos about you know parenting and um, i do tips hacks i talk about motivation um i talk about lifestyle i talk about so many things so stick around and um join the family so without further ado let's get into the video so tip number one is to set some goals for yourself i think it's really really key to actually have goals set because um if you don't have any goals then you feel lost then you have nothing to kind of work towards nothing to you you know for you to kind of achieve and, and and i feel like as human beings we need to have something to strive for so without having any goals you're literally just kind of wandering through life so i think goals kind of provide that kind of structure and it gives you that motivation to kind of get things done my second tip is something i actually struggle with is to eliminate procrastination <laughs> yes procrastination is like the devil honestly and i really really struggle with that so it's important to eliminate procrastination because it delays you from actually getting on with what you have to do and often you don't actually end up doing anything if if, if you just procrastinate um, for example someone like me i tend to say okay you know i'll do this later um let me do this for now and then i'll do it later later and ne later never comes so it's really really important to not procrastinate if you've got something to do you've got your task to do do that first and then you can then you know relax and enjoy what you really want to do tip number three is to cut out distractions yes it's very very important to eliminate um distractions from around you and it can be in many many forms whatever you find distracting you should eliminate especially if you're focused on the particular tasks for example you know phones social media you know we are in an era where it's we're constantly kind of <laughs> you know attached to our phones and electronics and all sorts of devices so if you know you've got a certain task to do or to complete or to achieve it's important to kind of cut out those distractions turn off the tv if it's you know music that you find distracting if it's the telephone or you know people calling you whatever it may be cut out that distraction so you, it allows you to stay focused my next tip is to create a vision board um, and that is something I, I started to do what well, I started doing it recently um, we all um, all our minds work differently so I, f I feel like when you actually can actually visualize something it gets your creative juices going it gets your imagination going you can actually picture yourself you know with that thing for example if your you know dream or your goal is to buy a house you know cut out a picture of, of a beautiful house that you admire put it up somewhere where you can actually see it on a daily basis so that will keep you motivated so you know that when you go to work you know why you're going to work especially those cold dark winter days where you just feel like you just want to be in bed so having those reminders in, in front of you or if it's a car whatever it may be it will keep you pumped up and get you motivated to actually you know achieve what you really set out to achieve my next tip is one of my favorites is to write a to-do list i'm like a grandma i write it to do a to-do list for everything for shopping for things i need to do you know tasks i don't know i think writing a to-do list kind of pins you down to actually getting things done and i feel like when i write something down for example i normally write a to-do list um, the night before for what i have to do the next day so by setting 
tasks for myself to do I feel like I have to achieve and um, those tasks so I normally when I achieve those tasks I either cross it out if it's on a piece of paper or if it's on my phone I'll put a tick next to it and that satisfaction of actually achieving that task it makes you feel so good and it keeps you pumped up and motivated to achieve the rest for the rest of the day another tip is to read motivational quotes or inspiring quotes now if you follow me on Instagram at Tara Bless which I'll link below um, I usually like to put up um, inspirational quotes or motivational quotes now I love reading these types um, of quotes because it keeps me going it keeps me inspired it keeps me motivated because there are days where I just feel like I'm just like I just can't be asked I just feel flat I just feel unmotivated but reading those um, quotes it instantly perks me up it keeps it just gives me that kick up the backside and to say you know what yeah actually I can do this today my last and final tip is to watch or read um, other people's success stories there's nothing so inspiring but to watch someone who a successful person who's achieved um, what you plan to achieve it, it just it just makes you feel so good it makes you feel so inspired and it just pushes you and it highlights that you know we're all the same as long as you work hard you're consistent you dream big and you put in the hard work you will go you will go far you will achieve what you dream of you know um, and I've, and for me personally I love you know watching uh, you know stories on YouTube <laughs> not that I'm plugging in YouTube but I love um, hearing other people's stories I love reading about the, um, other people's stories on blogs or on books or whatever really I just find it really really inspirational and those days where I really feel like I can't be asked I, those those are those particular days that I have to pull up those stories or read them to just kind of give me a, a boost so guys just to sum it up staying motivated is something that we all have to work towards on a daily basis you know you're not born you know motivated yes you know I'm a positive person but we all have our down days so I think it's one of those things that is a happy chore thing that you know we all have to kind of practice basically so guys so, i hope you've enjoyed the video and i hope you found my tips useful please comment below and tell me what you do to keep yourself motivated on a daily basis if you have enjoyed this video i'd love for you to give me a big thumbs up please don't forget to subscribe and i'll catch you in my next video bye